Hello and welcome back to KC Reviews. Uh, today we are going to take a look at this, uh, what's called a baby Pachycephalosaurus, or a Dracorex Hogwartsia, uh, because Jack Corner actually did some studies on the Dracorex and Pachycephalosaurus and Stiggy Mullock. And it looks like Draco Rex would just be a baby. So it actually, this actually looks like a full grown Pachycephalosaurus, as you can see with the dome. Um, definitely not a Stiggy Mullock without its more pronated, longer horns. And it's not a Draco Rex who really didn't have a dome at all, but had the horns on the back of the head. Um, right away. You can see it's definitely based off of the Lost World Jurassic Park Pachycephalosaurus, which itself was very, very small in the movie. I think it was about five foot long. It wasn't very big at all. Uh, in reality, these got up to like 15, maybe 20 feet in length, so they were decent-sized dinosaurs. Um, Size-wise, it is the smallest one I have by Papo. Oops. It's... Honestly, smaller than Archaeopteryx. As you can see here. Alright, so let's get him out of this stuff. So here's just the tags I took off. This is Pachycephalosaurus Baby. Uh, not for kids under three. This one said Papo, CE in the barcode. Um... I can almost fit him in the entire screen. Uh, let's see. There's his head. Let's see if we can zoom that in. You can see his eye. Dinosaur. Or bird-like, I should say. Which is nice. Got some blue around the eyes. Its dome is like a pale white. Skin's like a, a light yellow. Very light. Some of the horns are black. Black-tipped. It's... Tongue is... <laughs> it's blending in with my carbon. It's hard to focus, but you can see that blue continues from the back and turns into stripes. Goes all the way to the end of the tail. And then there's some light blue pigmentation on the arms and legs and like a brown underneath. You can see CE there and it says 2006 Papo made in China there, which is nice. So it's they try to hide it as much as possible. Uh, there's some inaccuracies. Obviously, it's not a Draco Rex, and it has these pronated wrist things, which dinosaurs, we have no evidence that they could have done that. It's also standing tripodial, but we're not here for accuracy for Papo, especially because the majority of them are based off of Jurassic Park. And if you base it off of Jurassic Park, yeah, get this figure. It is a decent looking figure really well detailed it's small and it's cheap for Papo. it's only 11 bucks so i would get it if you guys like lost world jurassic park jurassic park 3 uh jurassic world any of those this is a nice little collector's kind of figure it's small uh so let's do some quick comparisons here's the archaeopteryx which i will try to get to as you can see, the Archaeopteryx is actually a wider figure. Here you see, uh, compared to both paint versions of the Allosaurus, which you can see, it is totally just like small and minuscule compared. <laughs> and then compared to the Spinosaurus, which you can see, it's about as big as the Spinosaurus's head. <laughs> Which is great. We'll do, like, look at that. This, I, I, the Spinosaurus's head is as big as the Packy. That is great. Uh, so yeah. If you all like this, uh, let me know what other Papo dinosaurs you'd like me to take a look at, and I'll get to them because I have a ton on my shelf over there that I'm slowly getting to between these comic reviews, movie reviews and book reviews that I'm doing. So until next time, I hope you all enjoyed this baby Pachycephalosaurus review or baby, you know, it's a Drake Rex, whatever. Uh, and here is to some more reviews.